and the better hair. I caught my first tagged fish. Okay guys, got your deer corn. That's what you need right here is A&W. It's got real vanilla in it. And the root beer, the deer love it. That's like crack to them. That's what we're gonna put out after we're done today. Today I'm hunting a good friend of mine's stand. It's down on the creek bottom, a couple hundred yards down this trail. You notice there's a lot of trees down. It's from an ice storm we had a couple years ago and a two recent hurricanes. Uh, it's really thick in here. Um, there's a lot of good habitat in here though, so just stay tuned. All right, right here you can see where my buddy's been putting regular corn out. This is where I'm gonna put the root beer corn out. Pour it all right here, spread it out, and we'll get the stand and see what happens. All right, I'm up here with Autos 35 Remington. The creek is right there. Runs from the left to the right. There's a big thicket back there, but it's really thick all around. I mean, the deer could come from anywhere. Right here, you notice a couple of squirrels chasing each other, coming into the corn. I saw like umpteen million squirrels here. I guess they don't mind that root beer corn. All right, right here you notice it's getting towards dark. There's still plenty of legal shooting time left. Uh, but this big old coon came in here and he ate corn for probably a good 30 minutes. He really liked that root beer corn. Obviously the deer haven't shown up yet. I thought about shooting this guy instead of eating all my corn, but in North Carolina you cannot shoot a raccoon in the daylight west of US-1. So actually it's illegal to shoot this coon in the daytime. It's been a good evening. I've seen lots of squirrels, lots of birds. This one big old coon. But unfortunately the deer 
I'm not showing up today. All right. Well, we didn't see any deer. Saw about umpteen million squirrels and that one big old fat coon that kept eating on the corn pile. But anyway, you got to see how I make my deer crack. Um, try that out. It's just you got to have A and W root beer. Um, it's made with real vanilla. You can put more than you know the one bottle in there. You can put you know a whole two liter in there. But if you put two liters in there, you've got to do that a couple hours ahead of time and switch it back and forth to another bucket um, so it soaks in really good because it'll go to the bottom and sit there. So then after an hour, you switch it to another bucket and the real wet stuff gets on top and soaks down to the other stuff. But anyway, try the A and W root beer. Um, if you can bait deer in your state, that's going to help you a lot. Um, sometimes they'll pass straight corn over, but if that corn has got A and W root beer soaked into it, I'm telling you, they won't pass it over. Um, but anyway, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time.